On side are the ZL Woods 50 to 70 mile per hour passing performance, a test we initiate once the transmission has selected its highest ratio as the car lokes along at 50 miles per hour at 2.1 seconds. The ZL Woods surge is just 0.3 seconds behind that of the 532 horsepower Tesla Model S P90D, which doesn't need to shift its single speed gearbox. Yes. The Shelby GT500 of a few years back made more than 650 horsepower. But the new ZL1 has a chassis that can actually handle its ridiculous power. Having given it 650 horsepower and 650 pound feet, the engineers leave it to the driver to exercise the restraint necessary to produce the best acceleration. Despite having launch control, the quickest way to 60 miles per hour requires standing on the brake, then smoothly and slowly rolling into the throttle. The goal is to have the accelerator fully squeezed just as you shift into second. You must shift manually, else the auto box will upshift before the 6500 revolution per minute red line, thinking your slow moving right foot reflects a lack of commitment. Mastery begets glory. You're moving a mile a minute after 3.4 seconds. The quarter mile flashes past at 125 miles per hour, just 11.5 seconds after releasing the brake. Chevy makes only minor adjustments to the transmission calibration as you switch between the ZL one's driving mode. In the sport and track settings, the engine cuts fuel on upshifts for faster gear changes, which are accompanied by a satisfying blat, yet the computer still targets the same shift points. That changes when enthusiastic driving triggers one of three performance algorithms, still in sport or track mode. The first level holds gears when you...